What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome into Hometown Ghost Stories Paranormal Update, where we go around the world and find new news stories about the paranormal, UFOs, ghost sightings, cryptids. We're going to get into it right now with a brand new batch for this week's Paranormal Update. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Hometown Ghost Stories Paranormal Update. As we just said, this is side content where we are going to bring you some news stories from around the world. Some ghosts, some UFOs, some cryptids, vampires we've jumped into, perhaps zombies, perhaps cats getting punted out of windows. You're never going to know what you're going to get here on the Paranormal Update, but let's jump into it. I'm Jesse Wilkins. I'm joined by Rob Coakley. Hello, Rob. Yeah, we never know what we're going to get, and sometimes it makes us want to go to places. Now we want to go to the bar where the ghosts are throwing drinks at you, right? We've never, me and Dave were like, wow, we've never thought about going to a bar before. <laughs> I've never wanted it until now. Now I want to just go to the bar. <laughs> I'm a changed man. So let's hop into it. I gotta, we're I gotta... also joined by Dave Wilkins. What's up, Dave? Hey, what's up? So happy to be here. <laughs> and Dave. Thanks. <laughs> I feel that bad. was actually the most enthusiastic yeah. intro you've ever done for yourself, Dave. I know. Usually you're just like, hi, <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> just Eeyore the hell out of it. <laughs> so let's hop into it. I got a juicy one here to start with. It is, um, I believe, from Australia. A woman captures a ghost soldier on camera after her dogs started barking, quote, like crazy. Oh, shit. Oh. Yes. So this was in February. So not that long ago. A woman claims that she has captured the ghost of a soldier who massacred aboriginals lurking in her garden on camera after her dog started barking like crazy. So I'm guessing he didn't oh, hang on them in the garden. I, I this <laughs> on camera. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, no. There's there's a few things that you need to clarify here in this opening sentence because this shit was crazy. No, there is not a man on camera murdering aboriginals in her garden. She believes a that ghost. she captured a ghost of a soldier on camera after her dog started barking like crazy. And she believes that this soldier could have been one of the people that had murdered aboriginals on her land. We'll get into that in a bit. Lyle Robinson. Sorry, that's Lyle. L-A-E-L. How would you pronounce the name? Lyle. Lyle, I guess. Lyle. Lael Robertson, 51, was at her home in Queensland, Australia, when her pets were unsettled by something outside. She checked her security cameras and was astonished to spot a human-like figure lingering just a few meters away from her porch. The image shows what she believes to be a soldier's legs with no boots. I'm sorry. It's a soldier's legs with boots. Without boots would be a weird, a weird thing to add there. <laughs> On the dark shadow of an upper body described as unnaturally disfigured. The grandmother says that she has been told that soldiers massacred aboriginals near her house during the 1800s, and she believes that one of them is haunting the property. She posted the snap on Facebook on Saturday and users have since hailed it as evidence of the paranormal activity. And others said that it gave them bad, it gave them a bad and uncomfortable feeling. She said that quote, it looks like a soldier with his boots on. His legs are really clear and they're transparent. In the 1800s, there was a massacre here where there were troopers coming in and killing aboriginals. So it could be one of those. My dogs usually tell me of something's around that shouldn't be in the yard, and they were all going crazy, so I went to check the footage. Quote, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, what a bloody image we've just caught. I've been trying to put what's been happening here into the paranormal investigation world for around a year now, and everybody called me a liar. Now I've got this, I thought, quote, oh, they well, can't uh... say anything about this one, but they do. Yeah, yeah, you... <laughs> It doesn't matter how good the evidence is. There will be naysayers. I hate to tell there you. There will be. Yep. I feel like I found proof now. I don't know how we just got a photo of it, but because it's a motion sensor camera, it just got a photo. It's taken me a while to get used to this sort of thing. 
The first year I was very scared, but now I just love it. So there is a picture of this that I will show you. The story continues, but I would like for you video watchers to see it. And for audio listeners, we will post the um, we will post the image in Discord or on Twitter, so you could see it there. Kind of a small picture here, but oh yeah, zoom in a bit so it's circled, obviously in uh, this corner here. And this this website just has the most ads of any website I've ever been to. Just nothing but advertisements. Anyways, you can kind of see if you look through the advertisements and you just try to like squint <laughs> and right below, right above this Google advertisement, you'll see this shadow figure now this does actually look really twisted it is it looks like it's kind of looking back over its shoulder it looks really tall it looks like it could be like seven feet tall yeah the legs are twisted so i get where they say that it's like a disformed kind of figure mm. and it seems to be crouching a little bit which means it's probably even taller than this i don't know what this could be i mean at first glance i thought it was just uh like someone's shadow maybe from the porch uh, but right under this massive advertisement, if you look closely, the porch is over here and there's nobody standing on this porch. And um, yeah, I don't yeah, know. It's weird. It's a very strange picture. I thought very it was strange. a tree at first, like just the, just because of the twistedness of the legs. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Like, oh, is that some sort of like trunk situation? But when well, you look she closer. She would know if it was a tree, right? She'd be like, oh, that's my tree that's right there. You, you, but I if, mean. I don't know. Some people, some people see what they want to see, even That's if it true. isn't true. That's well, if you look, I... if you look closely right above the Whole Foods ad and right next to the <laughs> clickbait article about a man cutting himself in half by a forklift, the story does continue. Continue. It says that Lel moved into the house four years ago and claims paranormal activity began two years ago with knocking on her windows and pictures falling off of the walls. But some have claimed that her proof is just a camera lens delay from when her husband Joe Wilson went outside. But Lale insists that nobody was outside at the times that her dogs had sent schools. So um, right under this McDonald's advertisement, they have the <laughs> picture again. And I don't know how that could be like an imprinted photo of her husband that had been outside previously. Also, where did people gather that information? Well, obviously, obviously your husband, Joe Wilson, went outside earlier. Like, <laughs> where did you get that information? Did you from? even ask Joe Wilson? Yeah. <laughs> So wedge right. between it, it, two more clickbait articles, we have the rest of the story. Her Facebook <laughs> post has racked up more than 450 reactions and more than 80 comments. The post reads, quote, it's amazing when the full moon brings out in our backyard. In this photo, you can see half of a spirit soldier with his boots on and a dark entity against the laundry wall. There is definitely two spirits, but they don't match up. So explain to me this, Australians. What is a laundry wall and why isn't your backyard? <laughs> Probably a wall they hang their laundry on, like a clothesline, maybe. Tell and me then, where the second ghost is. Yeah. That was yeah well, I they think that I think it, they think there's two mesh together here because I think they think the top half is one thing and the bottom half is another thing. Weren't we talking about doing this with all of our uh, dismembered ghost parts? We were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one convinced user commented, now that's something paranormal. Another agreed said, best evidence I've seen on this page. A third spooked out viewer said, wow, that is so amazing. You caught this evidence of the paranormal. And a fourth explained the size comparison Wait a of the figure. <laughs> Wait a minute. That last comment sounded so men, like manufactured. Yeah, like what do you go to? Did you go, crafted. <laughs> did you order this comment from Fiverr? Like it's just. <laughs> wow, that is so amazing. You caught this evidence of the paranormal. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Wow, great picture. I can't wait to share it with my friends. <laughs> I also love that half of this article is them just going, and the sixth comment that we read on Facebook was this, and the 11th comment yeah, they, was this, and the 21st. They clearly, clearly had a, whoever wrote this article clearly had like a minimum word requirement from their editor <laughs> or whatever. Anyways, the fourth explained the size comparison of the figure to the height of the porch is crazy. So unnaturally slender and disfigured, it gave me a very unwell sensation. Another user felt the same and said, quote, I get a very bad feeling just by looking at this pic. However, one other one surmised, quote, I think your cam glitched because the dogs are following it. But Lel replied, my dogs are very aware of the spirits here. That doesn't debunk that. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, that so, was such a 
This, I'm still this post had 11 wow reacts and 15 <laughs> hot reacts. <laughs> I'm, I'm still stuck on the name Lael. And I don't know that name. Yeah. The, the name, so it reminds me of a time you were DJing, Jesse, and we're sitting there and this guy comes up because you were, you know, DJing like this very important party. And this guy walks up and hands you a CD and goes, play this that's what they want to hear and you and you grab it and you go who the hell is whale and it was wale i wonder if this Uh is lale is her name (laughs) spelled a little differently that's a true story so back before wale became famous and i love that you chose to describe this party as just a quote very important (laughs) party instead of saying whose party it was because it was diddy oh no that's probably he's in a lot of trouble Yeah, I was not trying to associate us with a Diddy party. Just mm-hmm. I was not there. <laughs> it was Diddy. <laughs> we'll beep all those out. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't know who Wale was. Well, who else? Well, it's so funny because he left the stage. We both looked at each other like, yep, not playing that shit. Apostasy. <laughs> <laughs> Number one hit two weeks later. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that was, okay. in fact, what the people wanted to hear. <laughs> he mm-hmm. was not lying. <laughs> it was, there. actually. All right, this article is from the UK Sun. And this is back uh, this past October. An eerie childlike singing voice floated around the stone-built house, miles from anywhere, as something scratched in the walls. But the chilling nursery rhyme didn't come from the homeowner Jim Irving, his wife Margaret, or their young daughter. Nor did the rocks that would occasionally go flying across the yard, the rustling in the walls, or the vile insults hurled at the family and visitors. Instead, it was claimed to be the work of a poltergeist or a ghost named Jeff, a mongoose that allegedly told the family he came from New Delhi. Now, the bizarre tale being wait, told... Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I've never been to a fucking deli that had mongoose. <laughs> I intentionally didn't read the headline of the story just yet because I wanted that little... <laughs> That little curveball. The headline is Bizarre Tale of Abusive Ghost of Talking Mongoose, which made the family's (laughs) life hell. (laughs) Named Jeff. Named Jeff. Named Jeff. Okay. We've always warned everyone, don't trust a mongoose named Jeff. (laughs) We've learned. Despite taking place in the 1980s, the case fascinates locals and paranormal investigators who are still trying to discern the truth. There are elements to the story around Jeff that are quite sinister, really, like when he threatened to kill the family. (laughs) Paranormal investigator and Jeff expert Richard Case said. Wait, he's a Jeff expert? He's a Jeff expert, yeah. Does it actually say that? Yeah. Like an expert on all things Jeff? (laughs) I think that they're they're talking uh, specifically about this Jeff. That's not what I want to believe. I don't like to think. I, I like to think he has a business card that says that he's an expert on all things Jeff. He might all be. Jeff. Well, if he doesn't, he should. And I hope that he really leans into that. Jeff, although it sounds ridiculous, also chased the family's teenage daughter to her room and many other things. The expert on the supernatural has spent years looking at the case and examining the research of the people who went to the farmhouse, including. Is this the, is this the Jeff Burt? The, the Jeff Burt, yes. Okay. Richard believes that Jeff was a creation of the family rather than a real spirit, despite generations claiming the house was haunted. Expert on Jeff doesn't believe mongooses are real. I think if you're going to base your entire expertise on this paranormal entity, you probably should not debunk it. Because now you're... Now you're just left with your career about being an expert (laughs) on Jeff's. He did Jeff it. (laughs) the talking mongoose is also known as the delby spook and draws visitors to the island even now with his case being listed on a tourist site for the island the paranormal investigator joked that he was surprised they don't sell jeff toys in shops given how popular the myth is a local news site is even named jeff after the alleged poltergeist showing how his influence is strong today now this story is actually Okay. Real quick, can we talk about what they would sell in the gift shop for Jeff? Mm. Would it be just a mongoose with like a ghost covering over it where 
when you pulled the string on it, it just says, I'll kill your family. <laughs> I hope so. That's a pretty good idea, though. Great one for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> the Sinister Haunting gained national coverage after the Irvings began speaking about their bizarre experiences of the mongoose wailing and allegedly announcing visitors to the farm. It's claimed the supernatural creature told the family, I am a freak. I have hands and I have feet. And now, <laughs> and if you saw me, you'd faint. You'd be petrified, mummified, turned into a stone pillar of salt. The mongoose said all those things. The mongoose said that thing. Wow. <laughs> they also claimed Jeff told them he was an extra clever mongoose, a ghost in the form of a mongoose. I didn't and... get that when it started fucking talking to me. <laughs> it's threatening my friends. life and an earthbound spirit. It resulted in several paranormal experts arriving to investigate, including Harry Irvine and Nancy Fodor, to establish if the family were making it up. Mm, need more so jobs. now this this move, this move actually took place in the 80s, but the reason that the article is just now coming out is because they're talking about making a film out of it. No way that works. Uh, I hope it does. The, the, the new Simon Pegg film follows Fodor's visit to the Isle of Man and his attempts to see the elusive mongoose himself. People have remained fascinated by this case because there was no real reason why the family would be making these claims and no financial gain, Richard says. That there's is... A, there's a lot of stories like this that get made into movies, say. and I'm like, how are they going to make that scary? How are they going to make Annabelle scary? Like, how will they make some of these movies scary? This one... Now, once you said that it was being made into a movie, I was like, that's not going to work. But it's immediately the only movie that I want to see ever. Yep. <laughs> so can't wait. To, can't wait to watch the fuck out of this. But how do you make a family walk around the house and then some mongoose just shows up? Fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, there's no way that you're going to make that scene scary. Yeah, but it's the attempt that I'm really looking forward to. I will you kill you. Said Simon, a... You said it was Simon Pegg that's doing yeah. the movie? He's, well, that leads me to believe that's going to be a comedy. Yeah, but you never know because sometimes be. it's got to be. How do you make this? How do you how do you pitch this as anything but a comedy? Yeah. It's the ghost. By the way, movie. I am quite clever. Like, <laughs> Did I mention? I wow, have a, like, hmm. The other mongoose that I saw eating my trash earlier, I was like, that one might be clever. But the one that just said, fuck you, I'm going to turn you to a pillar of salt. That one didn't strike me as too smart. I am uh, not an ordinary mongoose. I am also a biblical scholar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, you could have stopped that ordinary mongoose. Hey, I, I am not an ordinary mongoose. I know. <laughs> I know that right now. Say I no more. You that when you started speaking English. <laughs> when I saw through you and then you started talking. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Jeff and you're a piece of shit. You're like, wow, you're a mongoose. I can't believe you're talking to me like this at all. Irving and his family were outsiders and the Isle of Man has always been deeply rooted in folklore, which Jeff fed into. If they'd existed, and this is a quote, if they'd existed further in the past, it would have been a case for witch trials as Jeff, an almost familiar type feel to him. God, I, you know, I, I'm not for animal cruelty, but if they burnt a mongoose at the stake, like the Salem witch trials... <laughs> That would have been a sight to behold, especially when he's going out. And you're just like, I will kill you all. I am above average intelligence for mongooses. <laughs> would it be mongoose? It's, um, that's There's no question. way. But no, no, I think it's, it's mongooses. It's mongoose. Yeah, mongoose. <laughs> mongoose. <laughs> mongoose will work as well, yes. Uh, a group of them is called a mob, a pack, a gang, or a troop. Definitely imagine it. Imagine yeah, if there was a whole yeah. gang of these motherfuckers all <laughs> insulting you at the same time. <laughs> Piece of fucking shit. You're not even all that smart. I'm, I'm definitely smarter than most of us here. <laughs> Wouldn't know what to think of that. Oh, I wonder what the IQ of an average mongoose is. It's got to be low. Single digits. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> there's no way that some science lab hasn't 12? spent thousands, thousands of taxpayer dollars on <laughs> this exact study. So look into it. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the studies like they erased the snail's memory. They probably took a mongoose and was like, "Oh, let's make him think more about what he did last week. <laughs> let's see how that changes his daily activities." Spend a hundred thousand dollars on it at once. Yeah. <laughs> Make this mongoose think about murder constantly. <laughs> I know. 
what if a mongoose watched a lot of true crime documentaries for a month? How would his diet change in the summer? I'll spend 200 grand on that. It drives me crazy. Government spills. Spends 12 billion on a new study. Great. You canceled my kids' health insurance four times this year. Glad you got your priorities straight. Let's rock and roll. What's the next story? All right, so the New York Post had this next one, and Ben Costa wrote the article titled Paranormal Activity Terrorizes Family. We are not going to let this thing run our lives. And then they immediately just made an entire TikTok account dedicated to it. So <laughs> it's the worldwide privacy tour. <laughs> <laughs> is their house haunted, or is this a bunch of ghostly gobbledygook? <laughs> That's how it's you start word. an article. Yeah, it's a word not used enough in the press these days. <laughs> a Pennsylvania couple is sending shivers across social media after recording this so-called paranormal, in parentheses, activity in their house, which evokes something out of a found footage horror film. Papa John's pizza employee, Jorge Luis Cruz Molina, just doxing his work location in this article. <laughs> And his wife claimed that their house in the aptly named Erie, Pennsylvania, is haunted as evidenced by multiple inexplicable occurrences. In order to prove their imaginations aren't just running wild, the petrified pair posted footage of the allegedly ghostly phenomena on their TikTok page at Magical Poltergeist, where they boast over 150,000 followers. We are not going to let this thing run our lives. We're going to continue to try and do anything we can to stop this activity, the family wrote in one recent post, alongside a chilling video that shows a door shutting, lights flickering, and a wall-hung crucifix spinning up on the wall. Mm. In one of the unsettling clips, Melina's wife can be seen freaking out and screaming for her husband as her bedroom door suddenly closes and stuff falls off a shelf. Other clips report to show objects levitating, chairs rocking by themselves, fridge doors opening on their own, and other seemingly spectral events ripped from seemingly ripped from Toby Hooper's 1982 classic Poltergeist. Meanwhile, their most rec recent clip shows a doll switching its sitting position on a chair, which is very unsettling sounding. It's yet unclear whether these inexplicable occurrences are evidence of paranormal activity. Last month, a UK couple was one was left wondering if their dream home is haunted after a ghost spooked a visiting dog during the early hours of a recent morning with the whole otherworldly episode caught on camera. And that is how he ends the article. Okay. <clears throat> so it does sound terrifying what's happening, right? Like it's pure chaos things are moving dolls are moving doors are opening things are slamming crosses are going upside down it's it immediately makes your skeptic radar go up because mm -hmm. it's so much right right like, and i've watched one or two of their videos and without being there i'm always going to be skeptical because our first reaction is to how are they doing this right like because you always want to debunk it because you never want to, you know, you can't believe everything. You want to believe that this, that the hauntings are happening, but you also have to look at it and be like, are they doing it for attention? Are they doing it because it's actually happening? So well, they definitely I don't want to say have attention. I got their TikTok page pulled up right here, actually. And like they said, we got uh, 300,000 plus followers, 10.4 million likes. So, I mean, they're posting this stuff and this is a, there's a ton of videos here. I'm just scrolling through now and there's hundreds of videos it seems all dedicated to the crazy things that are happening in this house which leads me to which how many haunted houses have we investigated and we're getting very 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 like sparse things happening like sparsely it's not almost not almost never so and the yeah. things that are happening are happening on a very low scale so for this for this much to be happening i would say it kind of looks it's, like maybe they're leaning into the you also yes. got to wonder in a lot of these scenarios, why were they filming at this exact moment? Because you have to not look at what happens in the video because things get captured on the video all the time. They do. A lot of them are authentic. Some of them could be hoaxes. 
in a lot of these, they'll be having perfectly normal conversations in which there is absolutely no reason for you to be filming this part of this conversation in your everyday normal life. Why would you just be holding your phone filming at this point? And then it's just, oh, baby, did you hear that? Did you see that? Did you see this? It's like, oh, so you just happen to be recording at this time. Right. It, very there's, few there's, definitely, there's definitely some of that, but a lot of this, I'm just scrolling through the page, also looks like uh, surveillance cameras. Yeah, they've set up surveillance cameras in their house because of all the activity that they've had. So they've, they're filming 24-7. And the house right. supposedly at this point. Yeah, I'm just going through so because I, I I'm familiar with this page. I've seen a few of their videos. Skeptic radar immediately goes up because the act the acting seems very fake. It seems poor. It doesn't seem authentic to me. Now this is just me saying this because we analyze this stuff all the time. On the surface, I think it's all nonsense. I think they're bad actors. I think they're doing it because they're getting some clout over it. I'm seeing different videos with this guy. He's doing magic tricks and stuff like that. It's like, okay, so we know you have sleight of hand. We know you have ways of doing things where you can create illusions anyways. That just, it, none of this strikes me as authentic. And it's mainly because of the acting, also the timing on the filming. Now, if it's security footage catching some stuff, cool. But at this point, there's they could be seeing this as an opportunity where they could be making money off TikTok. They could be coming becoming famous over this stuff on social media strikes me as not authentic but i could be wrong could be real could be crazy could be mm -hmm. could be the most haunted house of all time mm -hmm. I'd like to know could also be one one of the situations that we see all the time where maybe some haunting things did happen in the beginning and maybe they did get something on camera in the beginning mm -hmm. and then that pressure to get more and more mm -hmm. starts to build up so there's one one video in particular here. Let me let me see if I can pull it up real quick because this is a big a big moment here because it starts off and it's pretty scary because they have the this big knocking on the door. But I want you guys to pay attention to something and I'll play the video real quick and you guys can watch it and you can tell me if you pick up on what I pick on pick up on because I'm just going sheerly off not necessarily what's captured in terms of evidence here but more so um, reactions to what's going on here. So we'll play the video here and we'll take a look. Fuck. What the fuck is that? Baby, just get out of there. Just ignore it. Baby, that's. There's literally nothing in here. Whoa. Oh, she's trying to scare us. Baby. Oh my god, baby. Really? You gotta be fucking with me. Maybe there's nothing in here. So, aside from the really bad acting that you mentioned, uh, I didn't pick up what you may have. There was absolutely no reaction when that door opened on its own. There wasn't a gasp. There was no recognition of both of them. Like, oh my God, the door opened. Anybody who would have seen that in real life would have reacted to the door swinging open on its mm -hmm. own but they didn't make a noise. At least there should have been a, you know, like something should have surprised you that something opened that door. It strikes me as completely unauthentic in this video anyways. Maybe there's some more ones. I got to go back and, and watch more of these. But yeah, the acting is terrible. The knocking, it's just, everything is way too over the top from things that we've seen, things that other paranormal investigators have captured on camera this would be some of the most extreme poltergeist activity and the reactions just seem really, really, really off timed and not authentic to me. Anyways, that that's how I grab it. It could be real. It could be real. You know, if, if they're actually experiencing this, I hope that that they continue to document it because it could be great. But to me, if I were to bet my entire life savings on it, I would bet everything on this being fake. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. But on the flip side, to be to be fair, if I lived in a house and all of this crazy thing, all these crazy things were happening, I would absolutely be documenting all of it and putting it on social media and and getting all the uh, clout that I could from it. Fair. Yeah, I saw a case like this from Japan as well, where this, I believe it was Japan, where this guy was documenting all the, it wasn't as, we'll say over the top as this one, it was more subtle. It actually felt a lot more real. 
This is and the same Japan that makes the best paranormal movies ever. The same. True. Talk about the same I mean, Japan, right? <laughs> look, I, I'm not saying it was real or fake, but what I'm saying is when it started to get more extreme and people started um, demanding more videos and stuff, the guy shut the page down because he just, oh. he was, he was over it. Like, just dealing with the situation i'll see if i can find it i saw it a few years back so i don't know if i'll be able to find it again but mm. it, it just that one felt more real is the point than than this one felt devil's advocate for me is if you're dealing with this daily or every other day your reaction isn't going to be as you know big as it was the first 20 times you saw it Right. right. You're just going to be like, oh, this is happening again. Just like with anything. Sure. You do anything enough times that your reaction is going to dwindle a bit, even though it still like surprises you. It doesn't elicit right. the run out of the building reaction. I like, agree. And that might, you know, that might explain some of the, you know, maybe they're not losing their minds when they hear the knocking and then they open the door and nothing's there. But if a door flies open, I don't care how many times you've seen it, you're, you're going to have that that okay. jump reaction. Yeah, and that's not the only thing that happens in that video. Like you have multiple instances of the most haunted thing that somebody might see in their entire lives, like four or five of them in one 30 second video. You have the absolute pounding on the door, unbelievably loud pounding at the door. Then you get the door opening on its own. And then and then you get or in some sort of order, then you get the door also vibrating and shaking violently. It sounds like the door is about to fall off the hinges. It's too much to happen within that brief amount of time. I'm not saying it couldn't happen. I'm saying this didn't seem like the one. Yeah. Fair. And the, and the, the editing too drives me crazy where it's like, you know, like, like, Oh my God, look at this. And then it's like, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. We, you know? we do that though. We're like, know, here's yeah. our, here's our haunted experience. Right, but we're, we're talking about, hauntings right that's our job we're not trying to convince you that we are the haunted subject right we're not we aren't the ghost story we're just telling other people's ghost stories sometimes we are we do paranormal investigations sometimes we're doing investigations sure but i mean what, what i'll say <laughs> are we, is are we, we complete hypocrites maybe <laughs> <laughs> how dare you <laughs> post Quick, footage subscribe <laughs> on youtube of all places <laughs> You pieces of shit. All right. All right. So if they're posting authentic haunting stuff that's really happening. Oh, don't worry. Because they're not. Fine. <laughs> right. We're not posting. <laughs> we're not making shit up and posting it. All right. We're telling other people's yeah. ghost stories. Yeah, we just use AI, AI to generate that. the images that we need. You know? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's different. We do documentaries, you know? Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. That's that. I, totally you could. Cool. Yeah. On YouTube, I got them as magical poltergeist. You can go watch the videos for yourself. We'll post some links and see what our fans think. We don't like to, I don't like to come out and completely discredit things. So I do leave the option open. It could be real. It, you know, people react to things different ways, but it's Jesse's yeah. like, it could be real, but I would bet my entire life savings that yeah. it's not. <laughs> yeah. If they were like, okay, if you're wrong, we're going to chop off your hand. But if you're right, you will be able to grab a bag of Skittles from 7-Eleven on us. I'd if be like, you're yeah, right, I'll we'll take give that you risk. a third hand. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of the chest for you. Yeah, love it. <laughs> That's where I'd put it. Anyways, anything else here? Is, is that all the stories we're covering? No, that's the stories for this week. Okay. Well, we do appreciate you folks. Um, yeah, this has been a paranormal update. You know, some new stories, new stuff you can go check out. And if you got any breaking news on ghost stories, hauntings, cryptids, UFO sightings, things like that, send them our way and perhaps it will make it into the next episode of Haunted Headlines. Mm -hmm.